Hi, so here we have a question asking us to find a derivative, but we can't really separate our y, right? We can't get a function y equals something because our y is stuck to our x with a cosine and we can't inverse our cosine or else we'll have our y stuck to the x on the other side. So we're gonna use a powerful tool called implicit differentiation to find our dy dx or our y prime. Um, and then we don't have to try to figure out a way to separate everything. And so implicit differentiation works by just deriving everything, uh, but you have to be smart about it um, because we're trying to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So we have to derive everything with respect to x. So we'll start on the right hand side since it'll be easier to show how this will look. So the derivative of x with respect to x is just the normal derivative of x, it's one. But the derivative of y with respect to x is not one, it's the derivative of y with respect to x, it's dy dx. Um, but from now on, I'm gonna be calling it y prime just to make it a little bit easier. So every time we see a y, we know that its derivative is just y prime. And so on the left-hand side, the derivative of cosine of 4x minus y, or I'm going to pull out the stuff for the chain rule first. So the derivative of 4x minus y with respect to x is 4 minus y prime. And this is then multiplied by, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of 4x minus y. And now we have some y primes that we can try to separate and solve for. So let's clean this up a little bit. This is going to be equal to a positive y prime sine of 4x minus y, the negatives canceled there, minus 4 sine of 4x minus y. And that's going to be equal to 1 plus y prime. And we're going to get everything on the, uh, we're going to get the y primes on the same side, on the same side, excuse me. So y prime times sine of 4x minus y minus y prime is equal to 1 plus 4 sine of 4x minus y. And now we're going to factor out a y prime. And what's left over is sine of 4x minus y. Uh, for, uh, what's left is the quantity sine of 4x minus y minus 1. And I'm just going to do this all in one step because I don't really have the space for it. This is equal to 1 plus 4 sine of 4x minus y divided by what we factored out that wasn't the y prime is sine of 4x minus y minus 1. And that is equal to y prime, which is dy dx. So that is your answer using implicit differentiation.